Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this fabulous Vauxhall Safira 2 litre DTI design automatic. It's a 2004, first registered in November 2004 on a 54 plate and it's only had two owners from new. The current keeper acquired the vehicle in May of 2005. It's got a service history that is all up to date. There are some stamps missing from the book and some bills missing as well, but it has been serviced every year on time and we've got the last bill from the last service that was completed in December 2013 just 5,000 miles ago and that included brand new front discs and pads and rear pads as well. It's just had two tyres put on the front and as you can see as we go around it it is in absolutely glorious condition. It's done 71 and a half thousand miles in all of its life, comes with two sets of keys that work, the central locking works, the air conditioning works. It's a seven seater and it really is absolutely fabulous for its age and its mileage. Let's get up close and personal with the car because there are some little marks on it so we can see here there's a tiny little bit of touch up that's been done there and if we come down to the front bumper you can see a little scuff going on here which is a shame if you want to get this bumper sorted out though both sides are a bit like it then we can get that sorted out for you here at Sell Your Car UK. A front bumper respray is £150 if you want to get that included I'm sure we can do something for you. As we come down the passenger side though I just want to show you here uh, really nice clean hubcaps on the car there's no sign of being scuffed or curbed. It's got part worn tyres on the front but they are official part worn they've got the stamp on them and there is loads of life left in those tyres as well. I'll just show you that part worn stamp so you can see that for yourself. That's a sign, I should say, of quality, and it is. Uh, as we go down the side of the car here, you can see a couple of little marks on the wing mirror housing, but I think that's to be expected. And as I say, really, really clean bodywork, hardly any scratches or scrapes. I'm being very fussy here, tiny little bit of touch up that's been done there, and a few very, very light little scratches. But obviously, when you stand back from the car, those marks, they just vanish pale into insignificance. Now we're going to keep going around the car, let's carry on on the passenger side just to show you again another really clean and tidy hubcap. Uh, these tyres are not part worn and they are replaced very recently so there's loads of life left in them and as I say it's just had new pads put on the rear as well and that was done uh, about 5,000 miles ago. A couple of little scuffs here on the rubber, no point sorting them out, you'd have to replace all of this rubber section here and really there's just no point to it uh, and as we come around the back here you can see it's in really good clean condition no more scrapes or scuffs uh, just to be very fussy there is a tiny little scratch just here above the Vauxhall badge but there are no dents in this tailgate it really is absolutely fabulous for a 2004 car with 71,000 miles it's unbelievable uh, now as we come around here a little bit aware of the paint on the petrol cap you can see that for yourself uh, that looks worse on camera than it does in live flesh and blood as it were and if you stand back from the car it's lightly visible if you're looking for it but no one will really notice it and again checking out these hubcaps here and these tyres oh loads of life left in those tyres and no wear at all no marks at all on those hubcaps really good condition and as I said before new pads on the rear as well coming down the passenger uh, the driver's side here no dimple dents no big dents at all in fact there is one, I'm, I'm not being completely accurate, so I'll just show you down here. There is a tiny little, you can't even see it. Yes, you can. Uh, there we go, there's a tiny little dent which can't be sorted out. Uh, that is really as bad as it's going to get, uh, and there's no repair for it short of replacing the door. Uh, we've had that checked out. That is the only real mark on this car. Uh, and if we come down the driver's door here, you can see really really clean it's astounding actually i've seen cars newer than this lower mileage than this not nearly as nice as this uh, on the front here again a part worn tire has been put on very very recently we can still see the part worn stamp there and again very clean hubcap and new discs and pads on the front so i've already shown you that bit there on the front bumper that's really the only mark worthy of mention uh, even the roof no bird poo stains on there at all. Really lovely condition. Now with five minutes gone, I'm gonna take you on the inside of the car, which is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Now we are gonna do a deodorization bomb in this car. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, it's not gonna leave any fire damage. It's just gonna get rid of the smell of a pet. 
Uh, if you are going to be carrying a dog around in this car, then this car really it's perfect for you because there is a slight hint of dog, uh, which as anyone will tell you is a very, very difficult smell to get out of a car, especially a seven seater where there is so much fabric. Uh, there are no mats in the car, I'm just showing you uh, the condition of the floors though. If you want to get mats then that by all means you can do. It's got electric windows in the front and those are auto one touch and you've also got electric mirrors. They're not electrically folding. Lights over here, windscreen wipers and a multifunction steering wheel as this is the design. So you can adjust the stereo from the steering wheel. I'm going to jump in the car and I'm going to turn it on if I can find the key. Uh, I just want to show you as well, there's a little bit of wear just here very very common in Vauxhall this side absolutely perfect so they've obviously been using their right thumb to beat people out of the way uh, if I put the key in the ignition and as I say there are two of these keys remote central locking on both and there we go it starts first time all those warning lights go out except for this one telling me to take my handbrake off which I'm not going to do because we're not going to drive it uh, you can drive it all you need to do is arrange a test drive got an automatic gearbox here with the S mode, that is for sport, and down here the snowflake, which allows you to drive it in snow with a little bit more ease. You've also got a Parrot Bluetooth car kit. Now, the buttons have come off, but it still works and pairs with any phone and plays out through the speakers. And there is also a little speaker just down there, a bit hard to see with the light. You've got air conditioning in this car and a CD player with a stereo and the display shows up there. I'll just push that to start the stereo. Perfect timing. Okay, I can't play any more of that because otherwise I've got to pay them for it. YouTube. Uh, now we've got here on the mileage, it's showing 71 and a half thousand miles, that or thereabouts. And as I say, it's running absolutely lovely. Uh, I'm going to turn that off because there's no need to keep it running. And I'm just going to jump out of the car and just show you a bit more of the condition of it. Uh, so we've got lovely, lovely condition on the seats here. There's very little wear. There's no tears. Uh, as I said, there is a slight smell in here. We're going to deodorize it, which hopefully will get rid of most of that smell if you're not a dog lover. Uh, and the smell will go over time. Obviously, it's uh, been used recently with a dog, which does affect the smell. Now, in the back here, it has been used. It's been used to transport lots of children over its whole life, uh, but it is, has been completely steam cleaned on the inside here, which is why you're looking at such an absolutely fabulous interior. It really is gorgeous. It's as good as new. I think I can say that without having any problems from the Department of Trading Standards. Uh, it really is absolutely gorgeous in here. Again, no mats, but just look how clean it is now it's not electric windows in the rear if that's really important to you well i'm very sorry but this car is not going to be the one for you just to show you how clean it is this is not easy to do with uh with one hand i'm just going to push this lever here and lift up sorry about this i'm just doing it there we go i'm just lifting up this seat here just to show you just how clean it is running along here now there's a little bit uh of this happening here this is the back of the seventh seat uh, and this is just coming away there you can glue it we haven't bothered uh, but i'm just showing you down here as well really it is spotlessly clean and then what i can do is i can push this lever here and then if you just bear with me a second slide this seat all the way forward and then you can see here just how clean and tidy this is these are the backs of the two seven seats which i'm going to go to the boot to reveal all and by reveal all with almost eight and a half minutes gone in the boot here just to show you we've got the tonneau cover which works absolutely perfectly and we've also got all of the docks including an mot until december the 29th 2014 with no advisory items we've also got a service history with some stamps in the book the last stamp is in december 2008 done by cb motors and we've also got some bills from cb motors one of which is the last service done in december of 2013 which as i said included those brake discs and pads and a full service as well. Doesn't need a service for, for probably about 6,000 miles, or maybe if you want to be fussy, get it done at the end of the year just to keep it in time. You've also had a new battery put on the car in November 2012. Uh, that should still be valid as well under a two year guarantee, but obviously not for very much longer, a second of November. And you've got the logbook here as well, which shows one owner from new, and the current owner, as I said, acquired the car on the 7th of April 2005. Now I'm not going to show you their details for trade, uh, for uh, data protection, 
uh, but you'll see that if you come down to see the car. You've also got all the manuals here as well, and as I say, there's the original service book as well, uh, and you've got a nice little wallet to put them in as well. Now I'm going to move all of this out of the way very quickly. You've also got a spare tyre that comes with the car that's never been on the car, uh, and you've got this rather handy little thing here which tells you how to unlock it because it is secured safely with a K-lock which will stop anyone from nicking it. So you've got the seven seats, which I'm gonna take out this tonneau cover. Just showing you how easy all this is to do. I'm doing it one-handed, but I'm gonna take out the tonneau cover. Just lay that on the floor there for a second. And I'm gonna show you that these seats here all fold up, stay in place. As I said before, it's immaculately clean in here. It's ridiculous. Uh, so I'm just gonna fold up this one as well, just to show you as well that that one also stays put in place, doesn't have any issues with it folding down. Uh, and then the tonneau cover, you'd have to leave this uh, in uh, your house, basically, in your home, uh, because if it does go back in, it's kind of going across there, which isn't the most sensible thing in the world. Uh, you've got seat belts as well here. Just show you that there, flick that up, and there's your seat belts because it is three by three point seat belts here. Sorry, I should say two by three point seat belts. And then all you need to do come around the front here, push this button to slide this seat back, push that button to fold them back down, and then you've got yourself a seven-seater. It is really clean. It's gonna make somebody a very happy owner of a Vauxhall Safira. Now, I'm just gonna pop this back in the car, just across here like so for now. I'm gonna shut this boot, and there we have it. That is everything you need to know about this Vauxhall Safira 2-litre DTI Design Automatic. It is only available though, exclusively, through Sell Your Car UK. Whew, I hope I've covered everything. Is there anything I've missed? The Bluetooth, yes, there is something else I've missed. Oh wait, no I haven't, I told you about, I'm being really fussy, I've told you about that, haven't I? Uh, what else? Is there anything else I've missed? Spotlessly clean, it's ridiculous. I think that's it. Two keys, central locking all works. I can't think of anything else. Uh, if you're interested in this car, as I said, there's only one place to get it. Give us a call here at Sell Your Car UK. I can't believe the condition of this car. Anyway, I'm gone. Bye.